All right, so we are saying goodbye to Blue Ridge, Georgia. We've been here for uh, about a month. Uh, yeah, right at a month. And, you know, I first started this uh, season out, uh, first episode talking about how it was kind of spooky and creepy, and it really wasn't. It was really, we just didn't feel drawn to the area as much as we've enjoyed being here. We just didn't feel drawn to it. Um, uh, there are places we've traveled as we've traveled that have really felt home. There's just like a magnet of attraction. I don't really know how to describe it other than you just feel at home. You feel like you belong. Um, and it has nothing to do with the, the people or anything like that. Matter of fact, um, something really weird happened a couple of days ago. Uh, my son and I went to get a haircut, went to, was it Great Clips? It's right outside of Walmart. And put her name down. We had to wait. There's two ladies cutting hair. And the lady that we got started making, you know, small talk conversation with us and um, uh, asking us where, you know, are we, do we live there? Are we just visiting? And then it got to be, okay, where are y'all from? Over oh, from Pensacola area. She was, well, I used to live in Gulf Breeze. Matter of fact, that's where I, raise my children and and I kind of looked at her and I said, well we're actually from Gulf Breeze but we don't tell people that because not a lot of people know where Gulf Breeze is two minutes later we figured out that she uh, raised her children in the same neighborhood where our house is and she's our neighbor like like two blocks over and just the weirdest I mean just definition of small world um, small world after all but it's the area is not scary. It just we just don't feel drawn to it, and I and I was hoping that would change, and maybe it will. Maybe we'll come back and visit again. But you know, there there are three, four areas that we feel drawn to invest in. I don't know what the draw is, but um, other than we just we just feel, I don't know, calling like a calling for lack of a better phrase. We feel a calling to go there and be there. For me, you know, it's Ware's Valley in Tennessee, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg. Um, we had, we always have a great time there. I'm just, I'm at ease. There's a comfort of, of being there that um, I don't really have too many other places. The other place um, I can rec- I can say is is um, the Outer Banks in North Carolina, and then also. Um, we spent some time in Wilmington, Carolina Beach. I feel called to go back to uh, the Carolina Beach area at some point in time. And then Vermont. We had an absolute amazing time in Vermont a couple years ago. And uh, as we continue our travels, we're maybe there's going to be more places that feel like that. But Blue Ridge right now is not what I'm – even though we found an amazing – Hallmark type of movie, just or uh, Hallmark type of movie property while we were driving around one day, and but I, I will miss. You know, there's there's been a lot that's happened here. The kids finished their last day of homeschool last week. Yep, yep, they finished um, second grade in kindergarten. The third, the youngest one hasn't started yet, but they finished homeschool in the middle of April. Summer break starts early for homeschoolers, at least it does at the Helms Homeschool. Um, so that was kind of cool to, to sit there and think, okay, we started this homeschool year out in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and the kids have had classes in, um, you know, Florida, Georgia, or Florida, Tennessee, uh, South Carolina, uh, and now Georgia. And um, when your kids are geniuses and your homeschool teacher is too, it, it, it makes it really easy. So, uh, um but I'm, I'm going to miss, you know, the deer family, like, or really sitting on this patio. Um, because every night in the afternoon, there's a family of deer uh, right over here that will come walking up and, and seeing the kids' reactions to them coming up. Um, they haven't gotten used to it. I still haven't gotten used to it, but it's really cool to just see them come up. And we see, as we're driving in out of the neighborhood, we'll see – you know, two or three deer. We made a day trip yesterday to um, um, Anderson, South Carolina, and got back about 10 o'clock and pulling into the neighborhood. There was three deer that ran in front of us. And so I'm going to – there's there's some things I'll miss about it, but I just – we definitely don't feel drawn to the area. Now, I will tell you, we drove through um, Blairsville. It's another little small town just north of here. And that was very intriguing. It was, it was very nice – 
a uh, very intriguing spot. We may visit, we may visit there sometime, but I'm going to miss sitting on the patio. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can hear it. The wind's blowing pretty, pretty intensely right now at times. Um, stirring up all the pollen, loving the pollen snowballs. I'm suffocating on over here. And, uh, I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss this view, miss hearing the Tacoa River, and I'm going to miss hearing that extremely expensive train that drives by. I still don't understand how that, that happens. But uh, anyway, that's it. 